All I want for Christmas is you. Oh, good morning. Good afternoon. I didn't know we were on. Good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Okay, this next video, I got to do this um, because we talk about mental health in this in this crazy house. Um, and so I would be remiss if I didn't talk about Orlando Brown because he was arrested, of course, y'all know, for family, for domestic violence. And his family just revealed that he's homeless. The child actor. Okay, so troubled actor Orlando Brown has been arrested once again, this time for domestic violence after a fight with a family member. According to the law of a young man, Orlando Brown has, was taken into custody by the Lima County uh, Police Department in Ohio. I mean, mental illness takes such a toll on you mentally and physically. And, um, you know, he looks much older. Much older than 35 years old. I mean, much older. Officers were called to a home for a reported fight in progress. When they arrived, they observed Brown and arrested him for misdemeanor domestic violence. Sources say the home in question was owned by Brown's brother, Matthew. The actor had been in the state for several weeks. Matthew told police that he had allowed Brown to stay inside a home he is renovating because Brown is homeless. The actor's brother said that he didn't want Brown to go live in a homeless shelter. I mean, however, once his brother came to stay with him, things allegedly took a turn for the worse. Sometimes you can't help people when they have these mental issues. The best way you can help them is get them in some place to deal with their minds. I told y'all that. It's, it's very important that we start understanding that. that. And don't stay in a situation too long. Like me. Whereas once you get out of it. It's almost like you a half dead mouse. You know how a cat play with a half dead mouse? The young man needs help. Matthew told police that Brown was acting erratic and crazy, and he said that Brown accused him of sexually assaulting his wife. He said that followed by an incident where Brown tried to attack him while holding a broken-off knife blade and a hammer. He's nuts. Brown's brother said he was able to avoid being struck by the weapons, and so the officers interviewed Matthew at the scene and then took the ex-child actor to jail. Y'all think we ain't got problems in this community? Huh? Nobody wants to deal with the mental illness that's going on here. Court records show that the charge listed as domestic violence caused belief of intimate physical harm by threat or force. Brown has had a long history of legal trouble over the past couple years. Back in 2016, Brown was arrested for allegedly striking his girlfriend. The incident went down in Torrance, California, where a witness saw the incident and called the police. The actor initially refused to get out of the car for the officer, but then later he complied, and the cops found and, uh, methamphetamine on him. So not only, you know, does he have a, a, a serious drug problem, but... He's self-medicating as well. Back in 2018, he was taken into custody on an outstanding warrant. In addition, he has had previous arrests for narcotics possession and alleged burglary. For the past couple of years, Brown has not acted, but instead uh, run a YouTube page where he posts wild videos about his time in Hollywood. He often brings up his old co-star, Raven Simone. And talks about their sex escapades and all kinds of crazy stuff. The man needs help. And I realize that a lot of his family is still in Ohio. 
but he's got to have somebody in Hollywood that looks like, I mean, they made money off of him. He needs extensive therapy. And then he got to deal with this drug problem, this methamphetamine problem. If there's any healing that's to take place with uh, Orlando Brown. Otherwise, we gonna be he gonna be coming up in the news real soon, and it ain't gonna be nothing nice. Mark my words. Mark my words. Okay, family, tell me what you think about this Orlando Brown situation. Do y'all think he need to be uh, involuntarily uh, put on hold, or at least for a few hours? What y'all think about this guy instead of just treating him like a criminal? Do you think that there's some validity to putting him in a mental health facility? All right. I'll wait for your response. Uh, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel. I don't think I've, I've thanked you enough. I'm thanking you again. I'm thanking you all of y'all who've made donations to the channel. I really appreciate you. You don't know how. Uh, all the links are in the description box of how you can donate. You can cash app. You can PayPal me. Um, you can donate anything to the channel. You can even donate equipment to the channel. I'm open for everything. And I thank you so much for watching the commercials. Because all those help the algorithms. And it helped me to continue to produce content that I love to do. Um, I got some ideas coming up for 2023. Uh, and I'm hoping I'm able to uh, sustain it. And with the help of my subscribers, I know I will be. Okay? So with that being said, I want to hear your comments below about Orlando Brown and what should be done with him. Because when he come out and him just running the streets again is not going to solve anything. The man needs help. What you think? What so say you?